So you're on a good day of eating. It looks to me as if you're probably not having enough calories. Well, since the thought is you have to have less calories if you're going to lose. You do have to eat fewer calories, that's true. But what I'd like you to do is to start with as many calories as you possibly can and still lose, on average, about half a pound a week. Now, it's different for everyone, but for you it might be 2,400 calories a day, and this certainly doesn't look like 2,400. I, I know there were times when I was counting calories, uh -huh. and I could go down to 500 calories a day yes. and still not lose weight. Yes. And, still not lose. And, was, and for how many days did you keep up 500 calories? Uh, Two, three weeks and before it would start. And before it would kick lose. in. Yeah. So 2,400 may be too high for you. On the other hand, if you have 2,400 calories, or let's say 2,200 or 2,000 calories, but you do it day after day after day, month after month after month, mm -hmm. then I, what I'm hoping is that you'll see this very, very slow but steady weight loss. are surprised that I suggest that dieters start at as high a calorie level as they can and still lose about half a pound a week. The reason for this is that I don't want their metabolism to slow. I also want them to be able to eat a, uh, a substantial diet that they can really keep up at least for a while until they plateau. What dieters often do, as it sounds like Ann did, is to cut calories very drastically. Then their metabolism slows and it's much harder to lose weight. Also, when dieters say that they've cut their calories drastically, sometimes they'll, what they're talking about is that on good days, the calories are very low, but on bad days, the calories might be two or three times as, as much. That, yeah, I, I would certainly need to work on patience. Yeah, yes. Yeah.